Hello guys, this is Mr. Live Visual. Today's tutorial is on how to create customized door and window schedules in AkiCAD. So, on our screen right now, we have a simple plan showing two doors and uh, two windows so that you can illustrate how our customized schedules will look like. So, in order to do this, first of all, you go to Project Map. Under Project Map, you go under Schedules. And just say just you go to elements. From there we have already preset the door schedules and window schedules that are already in default in AkiCAD. So for us to create our own, we right click and then say create a new element. From there you can give it an ID and a name. So after having done that, it will give, give us if the scheme settings will, will pop out from there. From element type, you change from all types to door. Or if you're dealing with windows, you can change to say window. For now, let's start with doors. From there, you add another criteria, which falls under ID and categories, which is a library part name. Then you change to is not and then enter empty doors so that all doors that are empty cannot be shown when you represent on your uh, schedule from there you go under now the fields so that you add the fields, the fields of the uh, element that you want to be shown on your door schedule so our first idea will be the ID or element ID which which is the name of the uh, door schedule that you're trying to create so you create the hot link and element ID and then followed by uh, the the door or picture or representation of the door which is now the view from opening side and then from there you add the leaf dimensions which is the size of the door and then you add uh, the quantity and then you select so after having done this you can simply hit your ok and then now select the door schedule that you have created. So from here, now we now have to set out our representation of our schedule. So you can choose this tile for columns. Then from there you can double click these whole spots. and there you have your representation then you can change the naming if you want to change the naming this will represent the door id this is the view of the door and this is the dimension the leaf dimension and the quantity and that's how you achieve your to your customized uh, door schedule. So now moving on now to creating a custom uh, window schedule. So you just follow the same procedure. You create a new schedule, give it an ID, and then you name it. From here, you follow the same procedures of uh, adding criteria and uh, assigning our criteria of uh, the element that we want to be shown. From here, we create a um, library part, add, and then you don't want empty windows to be 
notification to on your uh, schedule so from here what you do now you add the fields of the element that you want to be shown so you can simply just type in uh, or you can search uh, manually so the first one we want the id of uh, the window followed by the opening uh, of the window from there we want now the height and width of the window which is here and then the width which is this one from there now we end add the quantity we can search it and then we can hit ok from here we select now the window shape that we created and then we customize it to our preference so now I prefer to be represented in columns so for that you can activate this one or if you want it to be represented in rows you can just activate the rows so from here now we can delete uh, some of the namings we just want it to be written with we can delete some of this And there we have our custom window schedule. So you can always add or other uh, fields that you want to be represented. There may be the specifications or anything that you prefer to be on your uh, custom window schedule. And that's it for this tutorial. So. Now showing you on the screen is an example of our automated uh, uh, schedules for our windows and doors that were created by the MSBeam team. So you can always access them from our templates. So for that, you can follow the link in the description and get yourself the professional template that will save you time and uh, improve your efficiency instead of you now doing it manually and following the steps that we've been doing it today so thank you for watching and subscribe to get a notification on our next video